Welcome back. Kevin Smith joins us now. He is the chief of Niagara Emergency Medical Services. Kevin, how are your staff hanging in there during the pandemic? Yeah, it is, uh, it's been a challenge for sure. Uh, you know, in emergency services, we always say we, we plan for the worst, hope for the best. And uh, pandemic planning has been something obviously that, that we've often thought about and, and uh, through public health and other agencies, uh, really trying to understand, you know, the, the impact that it would truly have. And, and we could never have estimated, I don't think, uh, the toll, uh, you know, certainly on communities and the public and globally, uh, but on the responders themselves and, and just the challenges that have been placed in front of them. So to answer your question, I mean, the, the staff are doing extremely well given the circumstances. They, they've stepped up and, and I'm so proud of the way we've been able to continue the delivery of our services uh, to Niagara. At this point in time, can we assume that all of the paramedics in Niagara have been vaccinated? So we were very fortunate to be identified early on as a priority group of um, uh, critical uh, care providers and health uh, uh, professionals in the work that we do. And so, yes, um, they were able to become vaccinated uh, early on, along with uh, the hospital physician staff. And uh, so now we are currently working through other critical roles within our organization, such as our 911 communication staff, our emergency medical dispatchers, uh, who may not uh, have uh, firsthand exposure to uh, people in the community, uh, but uh, we've uh, been, you know, be very careful because should we have COVID impact our workforce in a closed type of environment like that, um, it could be a challenge for us to maintain business continuity. So paramedics are done and we're now working on the rest of the critical roles within our organization. The alarm was raised in December when, you know, the mid thirties, you had 34, 35 uh, staff members who were self-isolating in December. Uh, yeah, and actually before that, uh, early in the first wave, uh, so in around May, uh, April into May, we actually had 70 wow. uh, who were in isolation. Um, you know, we, we did have some confirmed cases uh, of our staff members, but the, the majority of people were in isolation out of an abundance of precaution uh, because certainly we don't want to come into the workplace and, and uh, uh possibly spread within the workplace, but also to the patients as well to protect them. And so when that was primarily paramedics, and so that represented about 25% of our workforce. And that's not including, you know, the staff who would normally be out for other reasons, whether physical injuries or uh, off on some sort of leave. And so um, I, I got to give credit to our staff for stepping up. And, you know, there was a lot of people who came in and worked overtime and, and uh, despite you know, when I was talking about the fears and concerns that they have, they put that aside and knew we have a job to do and, and they really stepped up to do it. You fast tracked some recent college grads into your workforce as well. How has that been going on? How have they been doing? Well, when we, uh, we work very closely with our colleges who provide the paramedic program, particularly in Niagara, Niagara College is one of the biggest colleges as well as um, uh, others in the area. But uh, last year, part of the biggest uh, time that that students spend with us is in practicum that is riding out in the ambulances working alongside paramedics to take what they've learned over the two years and now bring it together and apply it and, and so that we can see that they're able to go out and do this on their own of course when the pandemic struck at this time last year is when they were right in the midst of doing that final placement and uh you know we had to remove them out of the workplace out of an abundance of safety until we got a handle on this the ppe was supply was uh, uh consistent and so we, we did have to do some uh, alternative ways in, in which to engage them, which we were very successful with. We've had uh, great onboarding of new recruits and we're going through another recruit process right now to onboard uh, another class. So looking forward to, to that. Thanks for joining us today, Kevin. You're more than welcome. And uh, just a uh, reminder to everyone, do everything to keep yourself safe, mask up, wash your hands, physically distance, and we'll get through this. We will be all right. Thanks for your time today.